एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ऑफ इकोहॉलिक्स सो इन टुडेज वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न द ट्रिक ऑफ ड्यूएलिटी सो ड्यूएलिटी इज समथिंग व्हिच इज व्हिच यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एज वेल एज इन मैथमेटिकल इकोनॉमिक्स बट स्टिल द स्टूडेंट्स स्ट्रगल व्हेनेवर दे सी अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ड्यूएलिटी दैट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दिस प्रॉब्लम इनटू द ड्यूअल प्रॉब्लम सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर अ वेरी सिंपल ट्रिक विद द हेल्प ऑफ व्हिच यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर इक्वेशन व्हिच इज giving you the primal problem into the dual problem in just a matter of minutes so let's just get to the video so whenever you see a optimization problem they are mostly like this where you have to maximize an objective subject to some constraints so we can have a number of it so i have taken the general numbers mostly we have maximum two constraints three constraints two variables three variable case that is what comes in examinations also but to understand the concept i have taken the general numbers so you are given a objective constraint subject to some constraints which you have convert into the dual problem so what is dual problem dual problem is kind of the mirror image of the same problem which is going to give you the exact same result so for very simple example let us say if you try to maximize your utility subject to budget constraint but on the other hand you are minimizing your budget constraint subject to your utility so dual and primal problems are such thing where the root is just the different but they are ultimately going to some same objective so in the case of where i'm maximizing utility subject to budget constraint my objective is to find those values of my goods which are going to satisfy these things similarly when i'm minimizing my budget subject to my utility i'm again selecting the quantity of my goods which i want to consume so over here i have these i have written this as my primal problem so this is my primal problem and this is my dual problem i have already written that so i tell you a very simple trick how you can convert it so over here if you come here and you have a look at the primal problem you can see that these are the coefficients these are the variables so x1 x2 xn so it means we have n variables so because we have n variables we are going to have n number of coefficients now when i come to the constraints i have these coefficients a11 a12 a1n i have written the coefficients in the sense of matrices so that it is easier for me to convert into dual problem then again i have x1 x2 xn the n variables and because i have a maximizing something so on the side of constraint i will be having a less than symbol where my number of constraints over here are m so i have n variables in primal so we can also write this we have n variables but we have m constraints over here right as you can see m rows i have whereas n columns i have correct so how do we deduce it into the dual problem now when you come because of the rules of matrices multiplication i cannot do this ki c1 c2 ko i write in row vector and i multiply it with another row vector i cannot do it so how do i do it i might have to write one thing in the column vector and the another thing in the row vector so let us just continue with c as the column vector and x as the row vector so i will have to take one as a row vector and another as a column vector so x ko i'm going to take my column vector x1 x2 till xn and c ko i will take as my row vector so how can i write the objective function so because i'm writing my c as a row vector i will write it as c transpose and x so we are writing transpose to represent the row vector over here because initially we are assuming that both c and x are column vector so when i do transpose of c it will be converted into a row vector similarly when i come and have a look here these coefficients a11 a12 a1n are nothing they're just forming one a matrix so i can write my a matrix in this form a11 a12 goes on till a1n similarly on this hand a1 m1 a m2 goes on till a m n now because this is going to be a m into n matrix to multiply it with the x vector i need n rows in the x vector similar same way so x1 
एक्स टू टिल एक्स एन करेक्ट सो हाउ केन आई राइट दी सेट ऑफ इक्वेश आई कैन राइट दम इन दिस फॉलोइंग मैनर ए एक्स एंड विच आर लेस देन बी वन टिल बी एम सो इट्स ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी अ कॉलम वेक्टर सो लाइक दिस सो दिस इज द मेट्रिक्स फॉर्म आई हैव रिटन द मेट्रिक्स फॉर्म ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज एज यू कैन सी योर मैक्सिमाइज सी डैश एक्स सी डैश C dash is row vector. This is the column vector. Subject to a x less than b. B is also a column vector, where all x they are greater than zero, because you are working with non-negative variables. Now, when I convert them into the dual problem, it's very simple. The constraints, the number which are present on the right hand side of constraint. they will become the coefficients of your objective function in the dual problem but one very important thing to remember when you are converting the primal problem into a dual problem is that you never take the same variables which you have taken in your primal so if you are taking x variables in your primal you have to work with y variable in your dual problem so because of this reason i have taken the variables here as y1 y2 and ym so all these numbers or all these numbers of my constraint are going to become the coefficients of objective function of my dual problem so i know i have b1 till bm so very easy or a very fun thing to know about is in primal if i have n variables and m constraints so in dual i'm going to have m variables and n constraints so they just get reversed the number of variables in primal will become number of constraints in dual and the number of constraints in primal will become the number of variables in dual very one important thing to remember is this thing because if you remember this there will be no problem when you are going to convert it so these variables will become the coefficients over here now since the constraints over here the variables are becoming the constraints here So what are my variables? X one, X two, X n. So C one, C two, C n. So I have n variables. They will become my constraint. See, these become the coefficients here. So the coefficients of objective problem here will become the constraints at this place, as you can see. So C one till C n get transferred from here to the constraints, and the numbers in the constraint will get a transfer to the objective function over here. now what next this is easy this i can do that take coefficients here put them there in the constraint take coefficients from the constraint put them there in the objective function but what next if you come here and have a look i had a11 a12 a1n but when i come here i can see a11 and a1n so it means the coefficients which were presented in a row here have came in a column right similarly the coefficients which were presented in this row over here which is m n x n have again come into a column so it means what has happened the transpose of the a matrix has happened over there so it means this is going to be a transpose now i'm multiplying it with the y1 y matrix because y matrix is going to contain y1 y2 ym which is greater than the C matrix over here, and what can I write them? I can write them as the B Y. So I need one thing as the transpose because both column vectors you cannot multiply. So let me write again B dash Y. But if you come here, this is okay. You can do this. But the thing is, that you were using the B matrix over here. I wrote this thing. You were using the B matrix. You were not using the B dash. so it is always advisable to use the same matrix form if you are using the matrices in the transpose form in the primal problem use the same transpose in dual don't do this thing that you are using the transpose in primal and you are using the original form in dual it's not wrong but it is going to create problems for you while solving for the questions so since i was using b here i wish to use b here so if i do the transpose i'm going to get y dash b like this because here again i was using a and i'm using a dash here so i can again do the transpose here so i'm going to get y dash a greater than equal to c dash like this
as you can see here i have written the same thing y dash b y dash b y dash a y dash a greater than equal to c dash where y dash has to be greater than 0 because we were maximizing something subject to some constraints uh, when you are maximizing something subject to some constraints of course you have a minimum hand of something that is why in the limited budget you want to maximize something so because now these constraints become objective function there so i will be minimizing this so if you are maximizing in primal minimization will happen in dual and vice versa so that is how i can write my primal problem into dual problem very easily with the help of matrices very easily so that was a bit mathematical portion to understand the things but if you can just understand it and remember this by just remembering this thing you can solve each and every question in your examination so c dash will go from here to here and b will go from here to here x will change to y but you have to remember that you're going to work with transpose if you're working x as a column vector here so variables in the dual will become the row vector correct very important thing so variables here are taken in column there they are taken in row vector a will be same but it will be after this thing y dash so the way of presenting is different so with the help of matrices formulation you can very easily convert your primal problem into the dual problem so this was the concept of converting the primal problem into the dual problem we have a video on the numerical for converting primal into dual if you wish to see that video please go to the link in the description box below also let us know the other topics on which you want to see videos from our side please like this video share it among your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you everyone